Hello everyone, welcome back to Crazy IGCSE. So today we'll be learning the kidney failure and the kidney. Previous class, we studied the urinary system and the excretory system. You can click on the card above to access that video. The kidneys are located in the back of the abdomen and have two important fu functions. So here are the kidneys. And the the first function is they regulate the water content of the blood and uh, the maintaining of uh, water content content of the blood is important because uh, it maintains the blood pressure in the human body excretes the toxic waste products of metabolism and these toxic waste products are urea and substances which are in excess requirements an example of the excess requirements is salts and now this is the uh, diagram of a kidney so here is the adrenal gland this is the cortex the medulla and here are where the nephrons are located so nephrons are located between the cortex and the medulla then this is the ureter and th uh, this one goes to the bladder and that is the one place where the urine is stored this is the renal vein so the vein is going to take the blood outside the kidney and the renal artery is to take the blood inside the kidney the waste substances that need to be removed from the blood include ammonia uh, uric acid urea excess hormones, excess water, excess salts and ions, and creatinine. And this diagram below is the structure of a nephron. So each kidney contains millions of tiny structures called nephrons. And these nephrons also have another name called kidney tubules or renal tubules. Now the nephrons start in the cortex. So here we have seen what the cortex is. This is the cortex. And the, uh, and the loop down into the medulla and then back up to the cortex. The contents which are there of the nephrons, they drain into the innermost part of the kidney and then the urine uh, collects uh, there before it flows into the ureter. Now ureter is the uh, place where, which travels to the um, bladder and then it is to be carried to the bladder where the urine is stored. So this is the proximal convoluted tubule, this one. This is the glomerulus. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. Uh, this is the Bauman's capsule, the loop of, loop of Henle, the collecting duct, and this is the distal convoluted tubule. So remember that the left side one the left side one is the proximal convoluted tubule and the right side one is the distal convoluted tubule. So there are several reasons why a kidney might not function properly. It could be due to accidents or it could be due to a disease. Now humans can survive with one functioning kidney but if both your kidneys are damaged then they will be quickly uh, be a buildup of toxic wastes in the body which will be fatal if it is not removed. So it needs to be removed. Now if both the kidneys are damaged, then either there is no treatment. So here this would lead to death because the toxins like urea will build up and then the salt and the water balance will be um, disturbed. And then another um, method of preventing this is to use kidney dialysis. So here artificial, kid uh, artificial kidney machines will carry out the function of a kidney but it will carry out the function outside the body. Then kidney transplant. So kidney transplant is when one healthy kidney from a donor, a donor means a person who donates, replaces both the diseased kidneys. Kidney dialysis, so uh, a treatment for kidney failure is kidney dialysis so this is an artificial method of filtering the blood to remove the toxins and the excess substances so the patients will be connected to a dialysis machine which will act as an artificial kidney 
and it will remove almost most of the uh, urea and it will restore the water and salt balance of the blood then the unfiltered blood will be taken from the artery in the arm it will be pumped into the dialysis machine and then it will return to the vein in the arm inside the machine the blood and the dialysis fluid are separated by a partially permeable membrane now remember it is a partially permeable membrane so that way the blood will flow in the opposite direction to the dialysis fluid that will allow exchange to occur between the two where a concentration gradient exists now dialysis dialysis fluid will contain a glucose concentration it will be similar to a normal level in the blood it will also include concentration of salts and there will be no urea a common asked question in your uh, biology 0625 mcq uh, is that how many hours will it take for uh, a kidney dialysis so it will take 3 to 4 hours and it needs to be done several times a week now which is better kidney transplant or dialysis so kidney transplants are a better long term solution to the kidney fa- uh, failure than dialysis because kidney transplant donors will not have uh, sorry uh the disadvantages of a kidney transplant could be that the donors might not have the same antigens on the cell surfaces thus there will be some immune response to the new kidney and that means it could be a risk of rejection will be reduced but it won't be removed by the tissue typing the donor and the recipient first this might mean that the uh, the patient might take uh, might have to take immunosuppressant drugs for the rest of their lives and these can have long term side effects and it could leave the patient vulnerable to infections and there aren't enough donors to cope with the demand of kidney uh, failures however if there is a healthy matched kidney then the benefits of a transplant will be that the patient will have much more freedom because they won't be tied up to a machine and they won't have to uh, come several times a week their diets can be la- uh, much less restrictive so they won't have a strict diet there'll be a uh, use of dialysis machine will be very expensive so dialysis machines are really expensive compared to kidney transplants and a kidney transplant will be long term solution whereas dialysis will only work for a limited time if so if you're going for a long term solution it's always good to choose a kidney transplant rather than dialysis um the credits for all this text goes to save my exams thank you for watching crazy igc igcsc i hope you understood the topic well please subscribe to my channel like share and comment down if you have any queries regarding this topic or our previous video on the urinary system and the excretory system thank you very much